Have you ever been in a meeting or an important event and had the urge to poop, but you knew you couldn't go and you had to hold it in? Well, in this video today, I'll discuss, is it bad to hold your poop in? And I'll give you four tips on what you can do if you're ever in that situation where you have to hold your poop in. And you may be surprised by number four. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, trying to keep you healthy from the top to the bottom so you can live your best life. So picture this scenario where you are in an important meeting or you're out for a run and all of a sudden you feel the urge to go. What an embarrassing feeling and you know you can't just get up in the middle of a meeting and have that bowel movement. It is such a difficult situation to be in and it can cause actually some long-term issues for your GI tract. Whenever you feel the urge to go, the normal thing you want to do is actually use the restroom. Yes, I want you to go, but I know there's situations where you can't do that. But over time, this can lead to four main issues that are not great for your gut. Number one, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids are literally a pain in the bottom. There are dilated veins in the bottom that can cause pain, bleeding, itching, and pressure. And they come from consistently holding that bowel movement in and not using the restroom. Number two are fissures or tear in the bottoms. Yes, you can develop tears at the bottom and they are not fun. It feels like shards of glass, like you're pooping out a pineapple. Ah, oh, so painful. It can cause bleeding, pain, discomfort, and it can make it harder for you to have a bowel movement, making constipation issues a lot worse and make you want to hold your bowel movements in. It ends up being such a vicious cycle to break. Number three, if you hold your bowel movements in, guess what? Your rectum expands, it gets bigger, you lose the nerve fibers in your bottom, they become less sensitive, and then over time, you actually don't feel the urge to go. Now you may think, all right, great, I don't have to use the restroom, but no, no, no. This leads to a condition called pelvic floor dysfunction. When in essence, the rectum muscles are not working appropriately, they're too tight, they're always contracting, they're never relaxing, and you cannot use the restroom. My patients who have this have the sensation that they're not emptying their bowels. They're pooping little nuggets and nothing comes out. They're straining, they're pushing, and it ends up causing worsening issues over time. Hey, I hope you're getting great value from this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. And then number four, lastly, it can make constipation issues 10 times worse. If you have irritable bowel syndrome and you hold your bowel movements in, guess what? It's gonna make your IBS issues worse. If you have reflux, you hold your bowel movements in, it's gonna make reflux issues worse. Things will just back up. It is not good for you. So my advice for you is as much as you can, don't hold it in. At least don't make it a habit. Now I know there are situations when you need to do that. Here's what you need to do. Number one, sounds weird. Clench those butt muscles together. Squeeze, ah! Yes, squeeze them together. Use those muscles. Use that to kind of keep things in. Number two, walk around. Yes, walking can actually help decrease the sensation of that rectum trying to open up and push things out. Go for a walk, do something, get up. That movement will allow things to not be as tense down below. Number three, don't squat. Now, I know this is obvious, but some people, they make, oh, okay, let me go down and pick something up. No, don't do that. That act of sitting down to squat may actually have you squirt something out, which we don't want to do. And number four, my surprise, get distracted. Do something, listen to music, think some happy thoughts, play a video game. I don't know, do something you can to distract your mind from that thing trying to come out, I will tell you, your mind works great when you have that distraction. You're not focusing on your poop. You're not focusing on that bowel movement. And it's going to make it easier for you to not use that restroom. These are my tips. I recommend if you're in a situation where you cannot hold something in, what are your tips? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But I thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our weekly newsletter where you can get great tips 
and tricks like you learned in today's videos. I want to thank you for watching and don't forget, let's talk about poop! Thanks everybody!